The date on the Washington Post article reads June 22, 2007. But once you start reading, after just the first line, you're taken back to April 16th. 9.43 a.m., 911 dispatcher Debbie Morgan takes a call in Blacksburg. 19-year-old Emily Haas whispers into the phone, we've been hurt. Where are you? 211 Norris Hall. The dispatcher yells to two other dispatchers, there's a shooting, 211 Norris Hall, happening now. Are you still there? There's silence. The Post reporter says you can hear Haas grasping for breath. Then, two gunshots. I can't talk. Keep yourself safe. We're sending people. Please hurry. The Washington Post reports the 19-year-old student from Richmond was in Jocelyn Couture Noack's French class. The dispatcher tells Emily, try to stay calm. Ease your breathing. Morgan asks if Haas can still hear the gunshots. She says the shots are now farther away. Cho has moved to another room. The dispatcher says, stay under the desk. Keep talking to me. We're hurrying. They'll be there in a minute. Haas says, thank you, and then there's silence. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. We need an ambulance. Morgan asks if the door is locked. Haas tells her the doors don't have locks. The gunshots get louder, closer to Haas. She tells the dispatcher he's in here. It's been five minutes since Morgan answered the phone. Cho is now back in room 211, firing off shots. Haas plays dead. Then Morgan hears her bone-chilling scream. I just got hit. Bullet fragments are now in the back of Haas's head. Morgan hears another loud gunshot over the phone. Haas's breath gets faster. He's reloading. Okay, there's units there. Stay calm. Try to stay calm. Ease your breathing. A second later, what's your name? I can't talk. You can hear gunshots. The dispatcher screams to other dispatchers, still shooting in Norris. 9.51, eight minutes after Haas's call, Blacksburg and Virginia Tech police shoot through the deadbolted door to get inside. Then, a single gunshot echoes through the halls. The dispatcher once again tells Emily, stay calm. That gunshot was the last one of the day. It was Cho, firing a bullet into his head inside Haas's classroom. Haas finally gets hope. The dispatcher tells her the officers are inside. She tells her to stay calm. Help has arrived. Haas recounts to the Washington Post reporter that at that moment, her eyes were closed. She wondered if she would die. Then the dispatcher speaks again. The police are at your door. Can you get up and open the door? Haas opens her eyes. Eleven of her classmates and her teacher are dead. Five others are seriously hurt. Cho is lying in the front of the classroom.